Okay, so we're going to show you how to fit and adjust our uh, no-pull direct harness. Uh, so right off the bat, you want to identify the top and the bottom of the harness. The top of the harness is smaller, and it's on the direct, it has this one free-floating ring here. Um, there's no cinch mechanism to this top ring. It's just a traditional ring attachment. So the first thing you want to do is unclip the back end of the harness so it's free floating like that. And you can see that this is the entrance where the dog's neck is going to go through. So I'm going to bring this guy up here, our model. We're going to slide this over the head. So the first thing to identify is where this is sitting on the dog. You want it to be at the base of the neck. You don't want it riding too far up. You want it to sit nicely at the base of the neck, kind of like a traditional harness would. Now, the second thing you just want to do is make sure that these um, loops here lay nice and flat against the body. There's no twists in them like this. You don't want them to be twisted. You want them to be nice and flat. And then what we're going to do is just clip the back end of the harness together. So if you can't get the opening to sit at the base of the neck, uh, we'll explain how to loosen that up in a second. But for right now, we're going to show you um, the next thing that we would do once you get to this step. It's sitting at the base of the neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this guy forward just a little bit. And what you want to do from here is you want to put a little bit of pressure on this base plate. And you want to tug on this free floating ring. And that's going to cinch the two halves of the harness together. And it's going to tighten the whole thing up. And what we want to identify is how much slack we have in the harness. And what we're shooting for is between three and five inches here. And uh, if there's too little, too little or too much, we're going to show you how to make that adjustment on that clip right there. But in general, when this is cinched down and it's nice and tight or nice and snug around the neck of the dog, you want it to be mm, about max six inches on this guy. Between three and five is the best. Okay, so let's say you're going to adjust some stuff. We're going to come back over here and we're going to take this guy off. What you can really do is just put some pressure on the top of your dog's neck and just pull on this up on the top hat and this will um, take out any of the tension between the two halves it'll loosen it up undo these back two uh, clips and then just slide this off